What's going on YouTube? I just uh, wanted to make this video to show you guys a couple of um, new pickups I got and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the site that I got them from. I've been using this site for a while now but um, for some strange reason it just finally crossed my mind to actually share it with you guys. But if you have me, if you're, uh, if you're following me on Twitter and have me added on Facebook then you probably already know what I'm talking about and that is Glide.com and it's Glide with the Y, G-L-Y-D-E. And um, basically, and it's not just a video game site. You can buy things like, you know, iPhones, you know, iPads, you know, phones and tablets, um, Blu-ray movies. So, you know, they pretty much have everything that, you know, we care about as gamers and us, you know, nerds. They have everything we care about and for really, really low prices. Um, essentially, this site is like Steam, except for consoles, as well as phones and all that other stuff. But yeah, you can get console games for cheap on this site. Links in the description below. Thank me later. Because <laughs> I promise you guys, you're going to be addicted to the site. You're going to love it because there are some crazy deals on that site. But um, I got four PS3 games here that I ordered. So let's open them up. It's actually like some tough packages. I'm just using these damn scissors. <laughs> First game is ah Valkyria Chronicles. Now I, I actually already own this game, but as you guys know, when BBC went up to Chicago, he took the PS3 games with him, and I just can't wait to play the game again. That's why I went ahead and rebought it. I'm not gonna wait for him to go back up there and bring the games back. And um, I almost beat this game. I was about probably like 90% done with this game, if I'm remembering correctly. It's been a long while since I played it, but uh, yeah, I bought it just so I could um, replay it again. I got this for $10, I think, like $10, um, $13 with the shipping cost, I think, yeah, $10 for uh, Valkyria Chronicles. And one person was asking me um, on one of my videos, you know, oh, I have that Valkyria Chronicles poster, do you like Valkyria Chronicles? Does this answer your question? Yes, I love this game. This is one of my favorite games this generation. Uh, and it's definitely one of the best RPGs this generation because, you know, it is kind of RPG-ish, you know, you level up, things of that nature, um, upgrade equipment, things like that. So if you're into RPGs and unique RPGs, because it's kind of like a, um, it's like a turn-based strategy game and you go into like a third-person shooter mode when you're controlling the individual units and stuff like that, just go look at some gameplay footage, you'll see what I'm talking about, but... If you're interested in RPGs and strategy games, this is the game to get, and you can get it for cheap uh, nowadays, especially at Glide.com. Uh, the next game. Let's see what this is. Oh, Assassin's Creed 2. I don't know why it says that 349 pre-owned, because I only paid, like, um... How much did I pay for this? I think I paid, like... $7 for this? Yeah, Glide.com, $7. And the reason why I picked this up is because Assassin's Creed 3 is coming out. I already, uh, you know, played and finished Assassin's Creed 1 um, over a friend's house. And I played a little bit of Assassin's Creed 2, but I wanted to finish it. That way I could go straight into Assassin's Creed 3. So, that's why I picked this up. Um, if I'm remembering correctly, it was like $7 or something like that. So yeah, Assassin's Creed 2. Um, don't really need to explain that game because you, you know, most of you have probably have already played that or, you know, you've heard about it or whatever. Uh, next game. A lot of you may scoff at this, but Mag. And this was just $5. And a lot of people, I know they're like, I'm like, oh, Mag is shit. Why'd you buy that? I got this for like $5, people. $5. $5. So even if it is a crap game, I'll see, I'll find out myself. But I mean, for $5, you know, it really can't be that bad of a deal. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, I got Mag. And I definitely will be uh, hopping on that. And I know what this last game is. I know what this is. And this is the one I was really just the most excited to get. This game right here. Killzone motherfucking 2. If you guys have been subscribed to me for a while, you will know that this is my favorite shooter this generation. And I think it's the best shooter this generation, hands down. Now, why? 
Firstly, like I said, it actually takes skill. A little kid can't hop on the game and own you like it can in Call of Duty. If you want to pull off headshots in this game, you actually have to practice with the controls. It's not noob accessible. You see what I'm saying? So in this game, you could tell if somebody's a noob or not. The skilled players are separated from the sorry players. And also, this game has no camping. No camping at all. Because camping in Killzone 2 is completely useless and it won't get you anywhere as an individual or a team. And that's the number one thing I love most about Killzone 2. It is camp free. Because the way Guerrilla Games set the multiplayer up, they set it up to where camping is just completely, just it's just non-beneficial, <laughs> you know, to the goal. In Killzone 2, you have to be moving, going to the other person's side, you know, moving around. That's how Killzone, that's what Killzone 2 is like. And there's not even that many spots to actually camp at. So that's why I love Killzone 2 so much. And like I said, um... You know, like I said before in that video I did, uh, Gamers Are Weak, Gamers Are Today Are Weak, or I think that's what it was titled. I was talking about, um, you know, the, the controls. I love the controls because the controls were different. The controls made Killzone stand out. Yes, it's a generic shooter in the sense that it's another military shooter. You have this four-man team going around taking on a whole enemy army by themselves. But the actual gameplay and controls in this game are different. So it's set apart from other shooters, and that's why I love it so damn much i played this game a couple times over i used to play the shit out the single player whenever my whenever psn was down or my internet was down i would just boot up some bots and just play that's how much i love this game that's how much i love this game i think i have a 50 percent 55 percent of the trophies on it and um you guys know me i'm not a trophy hunter at all i don't care for trophies i don't care for achievements you know none of that but I actually, you know, started like getting trophies in this game. That's how you know I love this game. Because I don't give a shit, you know, I don't give two shits, you know, for achievements and trophies. So if I'm trying to get the achievements and trophies in the game, that's how you know I love that game. But uh, yeah, Killzone 2. And here's what I'll be doing. I'm deleting everybody off my PSN list right now. I'm deleting everybody. And if you guys have Killzone 2... And you want to play Killzone 2. And, it, and if you're going to play it on a religious daily basis with me, you get an instant ad on my PSN list. And the same goes for Mag. But yeah, more specifically, Killzone 2. If you have Killzone 2, you wouldn't mind hopping back on it again, you know, and playing the shit out of it again. I will instantly add you on PSN. But, um... Follow me on Twitter, guys. Um, add me on Facebook. Link below down in the description. Um, that's pretty much uh, that's what I picked up for my uh, PS3 recently. And I also picked up uh, Max Payne 3 on Steam, which I actually wasn't interested in at all, but it was for $30. You get discounts like that on Steam, you know, uh, a lot quicker than you do on consoles. But, um, yeah, so I got Max Payne 3 on Steam. I've been playing that. And I was actually pleasantly surprised because, like I said, I wasn't interested in buying the game at all. But, you know... I took a leap of faith, Hard A and, and Zephyrnix to tell me to buy it. I bought it. It's it's really good. The multiplayer is really good. It's addictive. I actually haven't touched the single player. I've just been playing the multiplayer because that's really all I care about. Um, so yeah, in the middle of this month, I plan on picking up um, some 3DS games uh, like Heroes of Ruin and um, Kingdom Hearts 3D. And then at the end of the month, I'm going to be picking up The Last Story once that release on the 34th, uh, 31st. And I'm also going to go back on Glide.com and buy some uh, Wii games I missed. So um, that's the only downside about being a multi-console gamer. You know, as you can see, you got to, you know, spread your money around. You know, buy PS3 games, buy a couple of Steam games, going to buy a couple of 3DS games. Then at the end of the month, going to work on my Wii uh, library a little bit more. So, you know, that's the only downside. But hey, you know, you got a wide variety, you know, diversity of games. You got a gaming experience, you know, just all around. Only multiple consoles is great. Multiple systems, you know, it's just great. What can I say? But um, that's for this video. I drug, I drug it on long enough. Go check out Glide.com because these four games right here, I might have got the prices wrong, but I remember the total. The total of these games was about thirty-five dollars. Four games, thirty-five dollars. Glide.com. Go check it out. I'll see you fools later.